Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. The uh, corn seed came today. Uh, temperature finally hit 75 degrees today. Yeah, today's the 23rd. My neighbors in their no-till chemical fields are hard at it planting. Uh, when I made the corn planter video last year, I showed you the planter running, but I did not show you a couple things that are very important. Uh, first of all, for these openers, I was telling you last year that the planter uh, came with those shark tooth uh, high residue or la la, whatever, high power openers that all my no-till neighbors go crazy for. And I found a guy and I was able to trade these disc openers. But for what I'm doing in full tillage, uh, I love these disc openers. You put the tape measure down on there and they measure uh, 14 inches. Kind of hard to film and hold the tape measure at the same time, but those are 14 inch. My old planter that I sold had uh, eight inch openers on it. And the bad thing about eight inch openers is every now and again, a dirt or root ball would get in the top here and they would stop turning. And when they stopped turning, uh, they would bridge and catch a piece of residue and drag it and just kind of screw things up. With these 14 inch notched openers, they're kind of uh, draconian, kind of harsh looking, but boy, they do a good job of taking dirt out of where you're going to plant and building a ridge in between the rows. And I just love those openers. And if you look at the top, they have that triangle on them so that even if a root ball would get in there, it's not going to stop them. Uh, nothing stops those turners openers from opening. Uh, the Kinsey markers were a weak point of their markers. And so I, you know, when I got this planter, the markers were turned outward. Uh, I flipped them over and turned them inward. Uh, they wear far less on these pivot points when they're pointed outward and they're marking the center of the tractor than the markers way extended out in the middle of nowhere. And it just beats the pivot points all to heck. And, uh, Where's everything out there? So one of the things that I do, my rows are not quite as straight as they could be, but I mark on my onside tire, my markers all the way in, and it's pulling the dirt into the planter. Also, it's in tilled ground, and so it doesn't tear your marker up. But here is the job that we are doing today. Uh, over the last, I bought this planter, uh, it's one of the nice things about having conventional neighbors that are very affluent. Uh, they sell their equipment, you know, when it wears out the first time. They don't like to spend a whole lot of money repairing stuff. So I was able to get this planter uh, from a neighbor at a relatively reasonable price, uh, but it was worn out the first time. So the last several years, I have done pretty much all of the updates to the Kinsey planter. Uh, the depth things, the arms there. So the one thing that I have to do yet are the row press wheels uh, that press down behind the row. And my old one there, you can see his hole is pretty well egg shaped there. And he was walking around pretty bad. Uh, could have been worn a lot worse, but that's the wear there. Worn pretty bad. And so it was walking around pretty good. If you hit a clod, it won't walk over it. And so what we have been doing today is putting the new units on with this uh, new, instead of, you know, cast on steel, uh, that new pivot and uh, it's cast on cast. They are a little bit tight going on, and so some of mine I had to clean with a sanding disc at that point uh, because my old ones had worn so bad in the metal they had cut ridges into that. And so that first one I put on over there, <coughs> I got it on and it wouldn't move. <coughs> and it was because of those metal ridges right there, so I took the sanding disc and where it's cut a ridge there. Polish it off before you put them on. But anyway, we're a week, maybe two, 
Uh, still waiting for rain here. Still pretty much bone dry. Uh, but we have all the ground worked up and we're waiting for rain. And when the rain comes, uh, we'll get the planter in the field. So, uh, big important lesson. The notched openers, let me give you a front view of that beast. That notched opener really does a very good job of ridging up when you're working in tilt ground. Thanks, guys.